the sheep are eating all the tops of all the thistles. They haven't eaten this one yet. The buds are still there. The buds are still on that one. But this one, they've eaten. So all those thistles have been decapitated, or a lot of them. The swallows are all flying very low because there's rain due. It's due to rain sometime today. So the air pressure means the insects are lower. So the swallows all fly lower. Hello you. How are you? Yeah, how are you a little bit? Yeah. Yes. She's lost all her ear tags, but I know who she is, so I can order them. But she's never going to be sold, so... I'll only need to get them when she dies. Sorry ladies, you're not coming backwards on the grazing rotation. They think they're coming in here. There's been about, oh look. Horses got very excited about something. Anyway, there's been about 10, 12 days growth. But what's really sad is looking at this chestnut. This is this pest It gets in and gets between the parts of the leaf, the top part and the bottom part. And you can see it's already doing this. And this is the beginning of June. When this happens in um, July or August, you feel, well, the tree has absorbed enough carbon to feed itself through the winter. Look at them all, oh dear. They all think I'm about to let them through the fence gate. Sorry, ladies. But this is the sad reality. These trees will not have enough energy to rejuvenate over a period of time. Oh dear, this one's really bad. Yeah, look. This one is really badly affected. I mean, it makes it look like the tree is already putting on its autumn color and we're only at the beginning of June. So you can see, look at that, that's this pestilence. It's really sad. All these, it's like ash dieback. You could say it's chestnut die dieback. Look at that. Horse chestnut die back. Ah, uh, tree is very sad. At least we have young beech trees that aren't affected. We've been planting them. Every time one of these horse chestnuts comes down, we plant a beech tree in its stead. At the moment, there isn't a pervasive disease. You can see that whole horse chestnut. Compare the two. This one's relatively healthy. And this one is really being affected by the disease. So you can see it's yellow versus that rich summer dark green versus the yellowing. It's really sad. Very sad.